Hi, and welcome to another tutorial about C Sharp and Visual Studio Express 2010. In this tutorial, we're going to have a first look at classes. First off, let's explain what a class is. You should see a class as a blueprint to create something. What does this mean in code? You're going to create a class, defining it by code, you're going to set variables, you're going to create functions or methods, what you prefer, and then every time you want to make a new object, you say, hey, use this class, this blueprint, and create a new object. So the class itself is not an object, it's just a blueprint for it. <clears throat> so how are we going to do that? I've already launched C Sharp for Visual Studio Express 2010, and I'm going to go to Program, or here, how your program is called. I'm going to say Add, and we want to add a class, and just a simple C Sharp class. And I'm going to call it Vehicle. And now we have made the class Vehicle. Now what can we do inside this class? First off, we can make variables. So I'm going to make a variable called integer. I'm going to say wheels is 4. That's great. And what else do I want? Float speed is 150 because it's a pretty good car and 150 is a nice speed. Also I want to say string. Oh, I'm going to say brand and I'm going to say, you know, let's pick a nice car, Jaguar, you know, we're programming, doesn't matter what we use. Okay, this is now the, okay, well, let's just save my program for a second. <clears throat> this is now the blueprint for our class. So how, are, how can we make use of this class? What can we do with that? One thing that we must add here is the keyword public before class and also before the integer, the float and the string. What public exact does and what other types you have, well I'll show that later in a later tutorial and for now just type this in your program. We go back to the main program. Here I'm going to create a new car. We can do that as, follow, as follows. I'm going to say vehicle, I'm going to name it car, and then I'm going to say is new vehicle, followed by two parentheses and a semicolon. Now we've made a new car object based on the blueprint or the vehicle class. Now we can do stuff with this car. For instance, when I say car here, and I let it follow by a dot, now you can see we can access these variables that are inside the class. Now, variables inside a class are called properties. For instance, now we can easily print out what the brand of our current car is. So I'm going to say console, right line, car brand to string. Let that I'm gonna let that follow by console read line because I do not want to close the program. And then it's going to say Jaguar. Hey, that's nice. And we can of course do that for all the other variables as well. Okay. I'm gonna say here car and then the speed. Uh, it's no longer 150, no, no, it's it's a really fast car because, you know, it's Jaguar, it's 280 this time. Um, print, I'm going to print out the value of car speed. And that's real nice because we have made a new vehicle object and every new vehicle gets a new, well, new variable. It gets a new wheels variable, a new speed and a new brand variable. And we can adjust these variables. So we left the brand variable alone, we just wanted to print it, but we've changed the speed variable to 280. Let's just see what that does. 
Yes, that's correct. That's correct. That's very nice. Now let's just top off. Let's just do one last thing here. We want to say cars wheels. This Jaguar has a really strange set of wheels. It has six wheels. And then we can say wheels to string. And all that does is print out the number of wheels. This concludes this basic tutorial about classes in C-Sharp.